For the first time, a CBS News poll finds that a majority of Americans want to legalize marijuana. 51% of people in our newest poll say that using marijuana should not be a crime. Two years ago, voters in Colorado and Washington State decided to legalize recreational pot use. Under the new laws, tourism is booming in Colorado. And as Barry Peterson reports, a new type of entrepreneur is profiting from it. Call it cannabis capitalism, the latest leaf to sprout from legalized marijuana. Michael Eimer's pot tours cost 240 bucks a person. This group was here at the show CBS News, how it will work when real tours start this weekend. Basically what we're trying to do is show people the cannabis lifestyle. Eimer has bookings and belief that he's in on one of Colorado's new growth industries. If I want to take the tour, how long am I going to have to wait to get aboard? You know what? I've got 30 limos at my disposal. So if you want to go on a tour this Saturday, 30 I, limos? Absolutely. So you're good to go. We're good to go. So this is a 10 kilowatt system. That Pop tourists will see how marijuana is grown. Visit a paraphernalia shop complete with a demonstration by a glass blower and have numerous chances to buy recreational marijuana. No, thank you. And the tourists are coming. At Medicine Man, which sells medicinal and recreational pot, Andrew checks IDs. Are you getting a lot of people from out of state? We get a huge amount of people from out of state. I would estimate about 40% of the IDs I check. 40%? 40%. Mostly Texas, which is exactly where Heather McNeely came from, here for a ski vacation that started with a stop for pot. This is my first time, so I thought I might as well try it legally. Well, I think we've taken a little bit of a black eye. I think the whole world is watching how we uh, take the first steps on the first massive commercialization and the development of an industry. Michael Feely is part of a group called Smart Colorado, concerned that legalizing marijuana and selling tours to pot shops will hurt tourism by scaring people away. I don't think people who are serious about uh, enjoying themselves, bringing their family, bringing their businesses here, are going to be brought uh, are going to come to Colorado because they they can get a ride and to a pot store. Appropriately enough, the pot tour ends at a sub shop where Acapulco Gold is a sandwich and they are ready to help with those marijuana munchies. For CBS This Morning, Barry Peterson, Denver. And tonight, the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley will look at some of the other ripple effects from Colorado's new marijuana business. Colorado, not just for skiing anymore. <laughs>